Welcome back to DXB Today. Now we've been talking all about the regional TV and film industry. Our next guest is somebody who helps build up that talent, give them the confidence, give them the skills. Leo Wong, producer, acting coach from Zara Stars. Thanks so much for joining us. Oh, thank Leo. you. Thank you. It was now, a pleasure to be here. I'm personally very excited, invested in what you do. Wonderful. Tell us a little bit more about your role and um, and how you've been helping regional talent. Absolutely. Well, at Zara Stars Productions, which is where I'm teaching some acting courses, I'm teaching people how to be comfortable on camera and how to actually get jobs in this business. And um, hopefully we're building up a talent pool and uh, giving them opportunities where they can take it further. I also have a website called actinginTheUAE.com, which I started in order to connect shows that need talent with the local talent that want to be on shows. So it's a win-win all around. All right, shows that need talent. You got the actors for it. So before we ask you any more questions, can sure. we do an acting exercise? Oh, absolutely. Um, you want to try uh, uh, a very simple one. Um, it, I just need two volunteers. Sure. Who, who's going to volunteer? Amy. <laughs> oh, okay. Sure. Okay. Well, sure. It, 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 this is very simple. Okay, you good. can do it from right there. Good. All right. <clears throat> um, who, who wants to be doing the acting? Oma. Wow. Okay. Great. <laughs> put, put you on the hot seat. Okay. So, Amy. Amy Thanks. Please tell him a, um, a funny story, uh, an embarrassing story that happened to you. Okay. And, and oh dear! Am I allowed to <laughs> so say that? A on real TV? embarrassing story. <laughs> totally up to you. All right, because uh, it's it's your life. But <laughs> here's my point. Uh, you here's thought, my you thought you were putting me in the hot seat. I know. I thought I was putting him in the hot seat, and I've just put myself. Here, here's my um, point. You can uh, tell it to him, whisper it to him. All right, and and take about a minute to do that. And while they while they do that, we can discuss other things. But then the point is, is that after you tell it to him, then he's got to tell it to us, as if it happened to him. He's got to act and make us believe whatever you told him actually happened to him. I like it. This could go very wrong. I love it. All right. All right. All right. You, you, so you please, guys can so Let's give yes. us some practical advice here. Yes. I'm somebody who always, I, it took me a long time to become a TV presenter. Very excited that I made it, guys. I'm finally here. It took a lot of, a, a lot, a lot of casting, a lot of rejection, but uh, here I am now. Yes. Um, for people out there who are interested in being on TV, being on stage, being in films, are there a lot of opportunities here? And how, uh, what's the best way for them to get started? Well, yes, there are a lot of opportunities. They're not huge, go into Hollywood type, that type of opportunities, but they're, you have to start from somewhere. I mean, nobody who's a big star ever just came on the scene and they were a big star. You can see in their past history, there was a ton of small bits and pieces and small shows that they did, whether even, even on commercials or even on plays, they do a lot of stage work. So you gotta start somewhere. But the best way to begin is just to actually begin. In fact, what I always say is that whenever people ask me that, how do you, how do, you do this? How do you get in? The best way is to substitute the word acting with football. And then the answer is right there. Mm. So if you say, hey, how do, I, how do I get better at football? How do I play on a league? How do I do this? Well, it's obvious. You actually have to be good. How do you be good? You practice. You just practice, you train, and then you go find a game and you play. And you improve yourself and you keep on playing. And you do it well enough and you hopefully get some good video of it that you can then show people and prove to people that you can do this. And you got social media now, which I didn't have. Exactly. You know, Leo, that, that reminds me actually of a funny story. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, talking about how you need to practice, right, if you want yeah. to get good at something. And something I really like to practice, I, I have a terrible sense of balance. I fall over all the time, I twist my ankle. It's just. Uh, a consistent problem, all right? So I would look at, you know, um, Dina and Amy, and they're just so good at walking in like high heels, stilettos in particular. And it's incredible to me. I don't know how they do it. And I assume they must do it through years and years of practice, right? Get very, very good at the balance. And it occurred to me that if I was able to do that, that I would have an improved sense of balance, especially if I did it over and over again. So just to really get out there, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go do it, I'm gonna do it outside in public. So I have all this pressure, all these eyes on me. Uh, so I put on the heels and I went outside and I, I was walking around and I felt like I had it. I was there, one step, two step, three steps. And then there's that shake, which always comes. And then Daddy, boom, tell me. fell on my feet, face rather. Yeah. Uh, it was really embarrassing, I'm gonna say. Uh, you know, I never did it again, uh, which maybe was a good choice. Was that good acting? I don't oh, think right. so. <laughs> I, I, I give him a five. Wow. I, I was good. Right. 
harsh wife, harsh. Did you, was, did you not believe he really did that? I didn't believe it. Well, first of all, because he was talking about high heels with Amy, but... Um, <laughs> I had I to work know, with the material I was given. Yeah, I felt like you were telling us her story a little bit. What do you think, Leo? Be critical. What's the analysis? Actually, that was, that was pretty good. Uh, <laughs> the only thing that would make it more believable would be that if, if you... If you were wearing stilettos right now. Well, that, that's one thing. I mean, but then you're not... Then you're, like, training to be on a tightrope. Um, but if you just adapt her idea, so it's about balance and it's about uh, being embarrassed in front of a bunch of people, you can change it up to be um, wearing some, uh, instead of high heels, you know, like wearing some new boots or something like Lips that. Lips or something You know like those that. sandals that, that you break like it? I was like about my height, for example. Yeah, oh, or being on ice skates, ice? something like that. Oh, that would have been good. Yes. Next time. And Next time. Okay, Leo, so more advice that we need from you before we let you okay, go. Okay, absolutely. Advice on how to get roles, I think, is very important rather than just the acting. Well, to get them, you actually just need to pursue them. Because there are opportunities out here, but many of those opportunities are not out there searching for you, simply because they don't know you are there. They don't know you exist. So you've got to make it known. You've got to go for it. And don't be afraid of rejection because, as you were saying, that's what you're going to get most of the time. And anyone who knows anything about any type of performance, most of the time you're rejected. In fact, e even if you're coming up and just acting in your school plays, doing drama, and you go to that when the, when the uh, director tacks up the paper on the wall and everyone's crowded in and say, ooh, what role did I get, what part? And then, oh, oh I did it. And only one person is like, yeah, <laughs> only one. Because one great and the rest are all rejected. I mean, they still got to, they got to play a tree or a rock, but there's, you know, rejection that comes with it. So you just have to be able to take the rejection and understand this is all part of it. I'm going to go through the rejection. And once I get one rejection, fine, accept it. Could I have done anything different? Probably not, because the truth is they don't tell you why you're rejected. So you just go on to the next one. Go for that. Give it all you can. You either get it or you get most likely rejected again. In the end, you don't need to get every single job. You don't need to get every single role to be successful or even to improve. You really only need one. There's a lot of wisdom there, Leo. I Thank feel you. like you've imparted knowledge. <laughs> I feel like I've taken something away from this. Thank oh, you so much wonderful. for being on DXB today. Thank you very much for having me. All right, but for now, we've got to move on to DXB in 60. Uh, yes. Amy, I think it's all down to you. So, Omar, we want to get to know you a little bit better. So we've now got DXB in 60, 60 seconds on the clock. And we're going to ask you as many questions as we can. So if not working in media, which industry would you be working in? Um, healthcare. One thing that you cannot live without? Uh, my Nintendo Switch. Seriously, it's like I'm not even here. <laughs> oh, Keep my word. I mean, you are on thin ice, I, my friend. It's not a thing. It's, a, it's not a thing. Exactly. Thank you, Faris. I'm on, I, I don't objectify my going, wife. Your motto in life and work. Uh, keep trying even always. when you uh, think you shouldn't. <laughs> Your hidden gem in Dubai. Hidden gem in Dubai. Oh, my God. Uh, Kinoya, Japanese restaurant. Your inspiration or muse? My wife. Aww. See, I got you in there. <laughs> the book that you're reading at the moment? Uh, I just finished a book called uh, Everyone in My Family Has Killed Someone. It's a murder mystery, and it's really great. Okay, amazing. Top series that you've watched this summer? Top oh, series I watched this summer. Oh, my God. Uh, I cannot remember any series I've watched. I've watched so many. Pass. Uh, pass, I guess. Yeah, top podcast recommendation? Top podcast recommendation. I like Ezra Klein. Okay, very good. Well, thank you so much, Omar. I'm sure we got to know you a little bit better. Uh, do you think, Dina, you got to know Omar a little bit better? I think I did. I learned a thing or two. Um, <laughs> Could be a conversation in the car right home. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Omar, thank you so much for joining us today. It honestly has been wonderful having you. And thanks for all the insight. You've all been wonderful guests. Now, after the break, Catherine Diab joins us in the studio to show us a workout that will help enhance your flexibility, your mobility, and strengthen, sculpt, and define that whole body. It's Method by Cat right after this.